There's no way. There is no way. Let's come this way. What? Good morning, and today we're in Chinatown. This area has some of the best Chinese food that you're gonna find in the city of Chicago, and rumor has it, there's a hidden food court somewhere in this area. We're gonna go try to see if we can check that out. All right, so we're here at Ming Hen, which is a dim sum restaurant here in Chinatown. And this kind of food is pretty cool because it's, it's a lot of small plates, so you get to decide if you can't just pick one thing and you want a bunch to try a bunch of different things, you can do that. And so the way it works is actually you have a menu here with all of the different pictures of things that you want, and you just write next to the, uh, the item on this little square how many of each one you want. And so you can see the prices down here, but yeah, we'll give you, go ahead and put those up on the screen right now. To be honest, I'm not even sure what I ordered. All I know is it looked amazing in the picture. So one of the best things that I usually like to get when I get dim sum is the shumai, which is a pork and shrimp dumpling. It's kind of like a giant meatball, but these things are delicious. You gotta be careful though, because they can be pretty hot. Mm. One of my favorite things to get is the beef shortbread. Uh, you can eat it with chopsticks, but when you're hungry, I mean, your hands will do. Mm. It's perfectly marinated. It's so tender. It's so it's a little sweet, but it's just I can never find this anywhere else. But when I get dim sum. That was delicious. We recommend getting three to four plates per person because after all of that we just had, I'm completely full. And we spent just under $40, so that gives you a kind of an idea of how much these kinds of things should cost. So in Chinatown Plaza, there's a new matcha restaurant that opened up called Kyo Matcha. It literally opened up a week ago. And I saw this online and it literally looks like it's supposed to. Can you believe it? This is a dessert. It is, it doesn't look edible, but it smells amazing. So this green towel, it's, it's a towel cake made out of matcha, and it is very soft, very delicate. Let's see. Mm. You have the aroma of the matcha, but it's not very powerful. You have the sweetness, so like, you know, some matcha can have the bitterness. None of that here. There's, I think there's a, like a red bean inside, you can see. Mm. This is really delicious. Matcha tea. At 50% sugar. Yeah, I can't do matcha without the sugar. I'm sorry, but it's good, <laughs> and I understand a lot of people really love it, but it's not, it's really not for me. This though, however, is pretty darn good. So after eating, we decided to come on over to Ping Tom Park, which is just outside of Chinatown Square. And you wouldn't believe it by looking at it, but this place actually used to be a shipyard in the 1980s. So there are a lot of really good options in Chinatown and in Chinatown Square for bubble tea, but Joy Yi, I mean, we've been here dozens of times. It's still one of our favorites. Q 
cucumber flavored glaze. So they also have a huge, huge, huge selection of different flavored Kit Kats you won't find anywhere else. So this is not just candy, they also have the salty, uh, salty treats. These are so good with beer. This is the best coffee in a can. The best. So we've been coming to Chinatown for a long time now and we think we may have found something we've never seen before, which is a hidden underground food court. So let's see if we can show you some more. There's no way. There is no way. Let's come this way. What? So the elusive food court is real. They have quite a few options of different varieties of food. They have stores to shop at and they have different snack places. All the places we go to in all of our videos, if you check the description down below, we link everything in Google Maps. So next time you're in Chicago's Chinatown, definitely find this hidden gem. This is the barbecue pork bun that we got at Chu Quan over there. It's, it smells delicious. Let's try it. Oh my God, this is amazing. One of the things I really love about Chicago is these tiny little neighborhoods where you really can get lost. And it really does feel like you're traveling to a whole other country just by driving 20 minutes in one direction. So we wanted to bring you some inside look at the Chinese American Museum here in Chinatown, but unfortunately it was closed. We missed and it by 15 minutes. Yeah, so when we got to the, when we got to the front door, the, uh, one of the people who works here told us that to come back another time and he gave us like a brochure and even a couple of free pens, so that was really nice of him. So. so this place, it's free entry technically and they only work on donations and they do take credit cards, so it's not only cash. A friend of mine recommended this restaurant, The Great Wall, and he recommended getting the barbecue pork here. So that's what we got, and we also got it a half-roasted duck. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that right now. Okay, let's see. Mm. It's very, very savory. It's just a little bit of a hint of sweetness, but I really like this place. Everything's already ready. It's very fast. If you're really hungry, this is a place to check out. All right, so for the grand finale. <laughs> mm. Very savory. Very good. Thank you so much for hanging out with us here in Chinatown. If you're ever in Chicago, definitely make sure to make a stop here.